before you start seeking a husband or a wife, make sure you're able to hear God's voice clearly and make sure you have a relationship with him and you know how God speaks to you. It has been brought to my attention that there are so many people on this kingdom marriage journey who don't know how to hear God's voice. They are in confusion about it. They have no discernment. They don't, they're not in the word. They don't even know who God is. They are not saved. And they don't see God's face regularly. Lukewarm, one foot in, one foot out. If y'all doing all that, why are you on this journey? Who put you here? Many of y'all have put yourselves here. And you need to take yourselves off of it, especially if you cannot hear God's voice clearly. You need to be seeking God's face instead of focusing and worrying about marriage. It doesn't make sense to me. Two plus two is not equal to four for a lot of y'all. Y'all are really getting eight. And it's just not making any sense to me. It just it doesn't make why put your that that's you're putting yourself in a very, very dangerous position. A very dangerous position because you are gonna allow yourself to to um sit in so much confusion, which can lead to mental anxiety, anxiety period, depression anger and frustration and that's also another reason why many of y'all are in a state of um like this weird limbo state where you're extremely extremely upset and almost miserable that this thing isn't taking off because you shouldn't be on this journey in the first place right now you need to be focusing on your salvation and your deliverance repenting renouncing and denouncing praying getting in the scripture and making sure your soul is right so you can get into the kingdom i might be a kingdom marriage girl and i make a lot of these videos but if you look around this page baby i'm very big on salvation and deliverance and i'm very big on winning souls for the kingdom very very big on that i don't care how many marriage words you come across that are from me i'm very 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 big on salvation and getting into the kingdom first and foremost god is first and foremost in my life and he needs to be first and foremost in your life you are going to begin to put too many things into your spirit and it's going to cause a lot of confusion get off this journey stop watching all of these kingdom spouse videos all these god or the future husband stop watching these videos and go get in your prayer closet Become submissive and give your life back to God and get in good standing with the Father. Marriage is extremely beautiful. It's powerful. And God's design on marriage, oh my God, out of this world. But what good sense is to focus on marriage if your soul isn't right, if your mind isn't right, if your heart isn't right, your attitude isn't right. Your mindset isn't right. What good is to be focusing on a man, on a woman, or having a husband or a wife if you can't hear God's voice clearly? If you don't even know what it sounds like? It doesn't make any sense. It, it blows my mind that I, I even have to make a video about this. Get your houses in order. It is truly time to get it together. Yes, we're getting married, but we also have to remember that we have to focus on where our souls are going. And if we are in correct standing with our father, that is very, very, very important while being on this journey. I cannot stress that enough. So it's not only that you can't hear God's voice clearly. Y'all, some of y'all are lukewarm still. Some of y'all got one foot in, one out, or one foot in, one foot out. You praise and worship when you feel like it. Y'all have made this marriage stuff an idol. Y'all are obsessing over these men and these women. And y'all give God crumbs. You give God crumbs. If you cannot hear God's voice clearly, you are going to be extremely confused while on this journey. Get in good standing with your father. Spend time with him. Get in the word. Go on fast. Praise and worship. Stay in his presence. Get to know him. Work on that relationship first before you work on any other relationship. We have to get into the kingdom. We want to get married. Y'all think this marriage is just rainbows, unicorns, and sunshine on Dagon Day. No. The end goal of this is to get into the kingdom. Do not forget that. Hold on to that. If having a husband or a wife is more important than your salvation and your deliverance, something is wrong. And I pray that this message finds the right people. I pray that this goes to the right people in the mighty name of Jesus. Send this video out to the right people who need to hear this because it's time we stop playing with God. It's time we stop putting things over God that are not more important than he is. God is enough. He is enough. I don't care how many of these words I put up. I release these words as the Lord leads me to do so. And I'm going to keep doing that. 
But if I see an issue, an error in the body of Christ, I'm going to point it out. Okay? Point blank, period. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And I will see y'all in my next video.